Okay, what is up ghouls and goblins? Today we are going to give you a look at at home and see if they have any Halloween decor here at the Raleigh, North Carolina location. Now you may have seen this from Ashley and Jed on the West Coast location, but today I'm going to give you a look and see if we've got any spookies on the East Coast. So come with me if you dare. Okay, let's go in at home, the home decor superstore. Funny story about this, I did not even know this store existed until my colleagues told me about it. So here we go. Okay, so as soon as we walk in, I see this, I'm gonna say probably at least 20 foot skeleton i did not see this on the west coast when my colleagues filmed as well as a lot of this other stuff like there's these gargoyles right here for 130 dollars basically pretty solid structure they're made out of they would look nice sitting side by side for your halloween decorating this year you can get a bag of skeletons well skull heads not skeletons here's the skeleton hand reaching out to grab me and look at this guy he has made himself at home no pun intended but possibly intended and here goes some smaller ones sitting down also got the, okay, here he goes right here. Here's one of the skeletons folded up down here, available for purchase. I assume the other ones are just the display models. It's getting earlier and earlier every year. It used to seem like you wouldn't see Halloween decorations until like late August, early September. Then it started, I would see stuff at like Lowe's and Dollar Tree around mid-July, right after 4th of July. But now here it is June, as I'm filming this and Halloween decorations are already on the shelf. I'm not complaining with that because I love spooky season. Halloween, my favorite time of the year, hands down. Okay, looks like we've got an eight foot LED cemetery archway. Oh, and check out these little guys. You got little, little skeleton guys. They would be cool for like, I don't know. Maybe like Skeletor's army if you were collecting Masters of the Universe toys. Now this is pretty cool. This is like a little mini lantern with the skeleton just sitting in the, the fall leaves in the cemetery. Let's see if it'll light up. Oh yeah, check that out. That is definitely pretty cool. Oh, and the candle flickers of course it's got the bats above him flying overhead with the creepy dead trees guy looks like he's just living his best life I don't know what all these little things are what is this like a what are you supposed to be are you a bear or a dog Okay, and maybe it's a teddy bear. You probably heard my sister in the background whisper it's a teddy bear. Look at these little guys. He's just waving and, and chilling. And there is the octopus. And this is giving the thumbs up. I give the thumbs up too. I approve of the Halloween decor that I'm seeing. Look at this weird little guy here. Looks like you could just sit something right on top of his head. And there's the, I see these every year at Dollar Tree, like the, the Skelebats, I call them, the Skelebats. Yeah, just look at that guy. He is, he is massive up there. How is the air up there? Okay, so I said at the start of the video, I assumed he was about 20 feet in height, but turns out he's 10 feet tall and he does have LED 
lights that light up his eyes and he is $279 so close to $300 for a 10 foot posable skeleton but once you take him out of the box that's the disaster piece you get see what I did there instead of masterpiece disaster piece so yeah this is the first section we saw upon entry but I do see some more stuff over here now these are pretty big and I did pick one up a few minutes ago these are Erie Estates 25 inch giant LED skull so that's kind of how they look but here's how the eyes look when they light up you get nice glowing red eyes and these don't seem to be selling out just yet they've got them lined on this side and this side as well as okay this lights up this is I'm not sure exactly what this is supposed to be but let's find out it is just part of the Erie estate collection enter if you dare there we go we got a zombie head just laying around as well as a green eyeballed spider looking at us home sweet haunted home and some little skeleton people on white pumpkins okay so over here we have some little skull trees that light up but these have batteries that need to be put inside for them to light up so that's not going to happen right now but look there's a little bat on top of the skull tree and down here we have this is a bleeding candle skull head bleeding candles very cool okay i've never seen these before this is halloween floating candles okay no i didn't see them out there either so I didn't these are remote them. operated these are new for me i've never seen this before you've got a basically a brain i am right in the middle of the coven as you can see behind me look at this these are for 22 bucks you get light up witches look how the face lights up that's pretty cool i've never seen anything like that before that is definitely thinking outside the box this is this is awesome right here this is awesome look here you can see the face lighting up it's a seven foot light up witch And up here, of course, we have, I guess I can call these blow molds, kind of like blow molds, the more modern blow molds of the, the jack-o'-lanterns. And then if we go down here, we've got some kind of skeleton skull monster. What is your name? Do you have a name? Uh, you are just a hanging ghost. I would have not personally called you a ghost, but at home decides you want to be a ghost. This to me looks like a ghost. See, this is just cool to me. You can't go wrong with a simple Halloween ghost with a frowny face. Here's more of the little blow mold jack-o'-lantern faces. Looks like they've also got a entire section dedicated to Nightmare Before Christmas. Okay, he lights up. What does he do? Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. I'm just here for the pumpkin pie. So yeah, they've got, here's Sally down here. She also lights up so i just saw this little guy here playing his harmonica but of course he doesn't work either he's animated 
for $74.99. He's just sitting here chilling. He doesn't play his harmonica today. But let's continue on looking at our Halloween decorations in June. Okay, so this is probably the coolest thing I've seen. This looks like it's straight out of Little Shop of Horrors. Like the Venus flytrap here. Let's see if I put my hand in, if it'll... <gasps> no, it didn't get me. It didn't get me. Then we've got like some old candles over here that actually light up. Yeah, the Little Shop of Horrors is definitely very very cool we got yard stakes saying happy halloween be the strange you wish to see in the world and yeah i figured this did it says glow in the dark you could tell by the it's probably not coming up really good on the camera but you can tell that it's got like a greenish tint to it and this yard stake actually glows in the dark And of course, there's a Halloween wreath for your front door to your haunted house. And then back over here, you've got some of the, I guess I would call it more kid-friendly type decorations, like a lot of porcelain type stuff. There's like a vintage type cat and a ghost that is meant to look like candy corn and even Halloween ornaments for your Halloween tree if you put up a Halloween tree. And here's a little ghost down here that possibly lights up as well. Oh, and he makes sounds. And of course, this is kind of like the witch section. You've got the, the glittery trees. And here's some little, little brooms. And of course, here is a little frog, a toad. And you can put candles inside of these hands here that are supposed to look very witchy. Curses, spills, and spills. Brews, potion, spills, and curses. And we got a little uh, pumpkin down here with a cemetery scene. So there you go, your first taste of spooky season in the month of June. Hope this kind of gets you ready for Halloween about four months early and get your mind off of the 100 degree temperatures however it is in your area it makes you start thinking about pumpkin pie and scary movies and trick-or-treaters and everything that comes with spooky season so if you like this video how about supporting the channel by subscribing to it and joining the club and until next time Keep us in your heart.